Welcome back in. Swanton off to a 12 and one start on the year. Bruce Smith has them rolling right now. We are just really starting to get to league play out in the NWOAL. Off to a good start, but Swanton needing to get past Wasion to truly get that lead in the NWOAL. You know, Bruce Smith had him well prepared for tonight. Fourth quarter, it was a 22-17 game. Bulldogs lead. Wasion rallying though. Landon Hines bodies his way down low for two. It's a three-point game. Later, it's a four-point game here. Wasion gets the steal. Jude Armstrong behind the defense, lays it up and in. Makes it a one-score game under two to go. Now, Swanton would get two free throws. Wasion would then get desperate. A missed jumper rebounded by Cole Mitchie. He's got it, and he's going to go back to the line to shoot free throws. He would make both free throws, all but putting this game away. Swanton holds on late in a low-scoring affair, 29-23. John Monk has more. Jordan, I arrived here in Swanton with six minutes left in the third quarter. And by the end of the game, I didn't have a single Swanton highlight from the field. That's how staunch the defense was for both teams. Now, despite a late Wasion rally in the fourth quarter to pull this game to within three, Swanton didn't give up. And on the back of Cole Mitchie, who made it to the free throw line, three consecutive possessions in a row went four for five from the line, pulled away just enough to lead Swanton to a 29 23 win. You know, they, they, they've pounded us for so many years, I can't remember. You know, to be on the same plane with them for one night's really rewarding. But, you know, we knew it would be a low scoring game. We're good defensively, they're good defensively. Neither team lit it up offensively, but we got enough plays down the stretch to hold them off. Well, we're 3 0 with four tough ones to go. You know, I mean, we got the best record of the league so far, but nobody remembers the halfway point. We haven't beat Wasion in, I don't know, eight years or so. And uh, for, for there to be a clean win in the league, we really needed this game. They were definitely top two. If there was a hula hoop up there, we wouldn't have scored. So those free throws were huge. <laughs> Reporting from Swanton, I'm John Monk, WTOL 11.